In human geography, regions are areas that share common characteristics. These characteristics could be anything from climate and terrain to language and culture. Understanding the different types of regions helps geographers study how people interact with their surroundings and with each other. Common types of regions in human geography. Formal regions. These are regions defined by a common trait such as language, political boundaries, or climate. For example, countries like the United States or Canada are formal regions because they have clearly defined borders and governments. Functional regions. These regions are organized around a focal point or central hub and are defined by the connections and interactions between places. A good example is a city and its surrounding suburbs. The city serves as the central hub, providing services and resources to the surrounding areas. Vernacular regions, also known as perceptual regions, these are regions that exist in the minds of people based on their perceptions and experiences. Vernacular regions are not officially defined, but are rather perceived based on cultural or regional identities. For instance, the American Midwest or the Deep South are examples of vernacular regions that people recognize based on shared cultural traits and perceptions. Cultural regions. These regions are defined by common cultural characteristics such as language, religion, or ethnicity. They can be formal or vernacular in nature. For example, the Arab world is a cultural region that includes countries in the Middle East and North Africa that share Arabic language and Islamic religion. Physical regions. These regions are defined by natural features such as landforms, climate, vegetation, or soil types. Examples include deserts, mountains, or plains. Geographers use these different types of regions to analyze and understand various aspects of human geography including migration patterns, economic activities, and cultural landscapes. By studying regions, geographers can identify patterns and trends that help explain how and why people interact with their environments in different ways. For example, the study of formal regions like countries helps geographers understand political boundaries and how they influence interactions between people within those boundaries. Functional regions, on the other hand, help explain how urban areas serve as centers of economic activity and influence the surrounding areas. Vernacular regions provide insights into how people perceive and identify with certain areas based on shared cultural experiences, while cultural regions help explain the distribution of languages, religions, and ethnicities across the globe. Finally, Physical regions help geographers understand how natural features shape human activities and settlement patterns.